What's going on, Serial Progress Seekers? Today, we're going to be talking about how I turned a $150,000 per year business into a multi-million dollar online empire by changing two extremely important ways that I do business and how I locked my brick and mortar business up forever and made more money in that next year than I ever had before and how you can do the same. All right, let's dive in. Let's do it. You're listening to the Serial Progress Seeker Podcast. My name is Dr. Ben Atkins, and I want to take you behind the scenes and show you how I built a multi-million dollar digital internet business and how I'm turning that entire business into something that I can take with me anywhere inside of a backpack. Let's get started with the show. All right, so today we're talking about how to lock your business's doors and make over a million dollars a year starting this next year. How do you do that? For most people out there that have a brick and mortar business or have been playing in a place where you were limited by inventory, things like that, or the number of hours you can put in, that seems like a pipe dream. But if you're the kind of person that wants to escape that nine to five, or if you happen to be the owner of a business, which is more like um, nine to five and then plus another six to 10 hours a day, if you're that person, this is the episode for you. So before we get started, the only thing that uh, I want to ask of you is this. We don't run ads on the show, and the reason is is because that's not what we're about. This is all about helping people to grow their business, and there's plenty of other ways for me to make money online, uh, and I do, and it's not going to be through this particular podcast. So we don't run ads. The big thing that I want you to do is if this is something that helped you out, tell a friend about it. That simple. Tell a friend, share it with somebody who needs to hear it, and I guarantee you uh, good things will come back to you. So that's that's my only ask of you is to share this if it's something that works for you. Okay, so let's get into it. How do you escape your business? How do you lock your business's doors? Literally, your moneymaker. How do you lock the doors to your moneymaker and make a lot more money this next year? So, you know, it's big. You got to you got to make a plan here. Most people, what happens is they get going, they become somewhat successful, they become somewhat respected in their community and they get stuck there. And it's not just because they get stuck with bills, they get stuck there because it's habit. And so if you really want something better, if you want more freedom, if you want to make a lot more money, but be a lot more free, this is the key. When I was back and I was in my chiropractic office, for those of you that don't know, maybe this is the first time you've listened to Serial Progress Seeker, I started out as a chiropractor. And when I was a chiropractor, I would go in, I would get there in, you know, around 7.30 to 8 o'clock in the morning. I would be in my office until about 6. And then I would come home and I was dead tired. I had seen a lot of patients uh, that particular day. And there was very little time for other things. How I got out of that business is uh, when I got away from that business, I did things that set up the next stage of my life. And that's sort of what I want to talk to you about today. The number one problem that I realized really early on when I was in my chiropractic office was I, I loved seeing patients. I loved helping people get better. What I did not like is without being physically present in that business, that business did not go. Meaning me being the chiropractor, the one that was doing the majority of the work with patients, I was in the middle of a job. And even though I owned the place and it was mine, it was still a job. And so I remember when it hit me, I was uh, laying in bed one night and I was reading the four hour work week. This is way back at the beginning of Tim Ferriss. For those of you who don't know, don't know who Tim Ferriss is, that's okay. Uh, but he wrote a book called The Four Hour Work Week. It was all about outsourcing, you know, your life, uh, hiring people to help you, and really making sure that your business did not depend on you being there. Now, I didn't buy this book because of that. I bought it because I heard some buzz around it, and you know, it had an interesting name. And I remember laying in bed one night, and this is after I'd gone to school for you know like eight years to be a chiropractor. And I was reading this book and, and it just hit me all of a sudden that I'd made a huge mistake, not in that I had, you know, followed the wrong path, but in the way that I'd set up my business, meaning I had to be present. I had to be present and I was limited by some very, very interesting factors. And this is going to be the wake up call, hopefully to a lot of you listening right now. If you're out there right now and you were where I was at, you have a business, you're doing pretty good. You respect in the community, you were involved but you seem, you know, starting to see the writing on the wall that you can't grow it anymore uh, without hiring more employees. You can't grow it anymore without being there more, without taking more time away from your family. And that's what I realized. It was, I wanted to have a good life and I wanted to have some level of freedom. And the only path I knew to that was by 
having a gig that paid a decent wage um, and working as hard as I could. But the problem with that was, is that you only have so many hours in the day and, you know, you can do all the marketing in the world, but you still are limited by a couple factors. So if you're out there right now and you feel like you've been doing this for a few years, whatever you're doing and you've hit a wall, this is the problem. This is the big problem. This is the thing that's keeping you from hitting seven figures, eight figures, or, you know, let's just say double what you're doing right now to start. It's because you were limited by two really, really important factors. The first factor being time. If you were in that business, you are, quite honestly, you are the person that is the linchpin of it all. Meaning when I was a doctor, I was the linchpin of it all. I had to be there. It doesn't matter how many people I hired to help me. I still had to be there and to do things. So number one is time. Now, let's say that you happen to have figured that out. Maybe you've hired someone else to sort of take that key in the business role of actually interacting with the public, delivering a core service, whatever that may be. Now, that's huge. But it also probably means you're still limited by another really, really huge factor. And this was the one that changed my life forever when I figured this one out. You're probably also limited by location. And that was it. In my chiropractic office, not only was I limited by time, but I was limited by location. And what I mean by that is this. If you were coming to see me, there was only so long you could drive. And when I was a chiropractor, there was only so far you could come. And that was a problem because it absolutely, no matter how much marketing I did, no matter how much extra time I could squeeze in, I could only pull people from so far. Otherwise, they were going to go to someone else, even if that business was not as good as mine. Even if they weren't as good a chiropractor, they were still going to go to someone probably closer. Now, I pulled people from all over the place, people way outside of where I should have pulled them because they knew I was good and they came to see me, but I was still limited by location and that limited my income. And I look up one day and I realize that I'm in this business. I'm doing a lot of good, both for my community. I'm doing a lot of good, you know, with my patients. They're referring people in. This thing's going the way that it's supposed to go. And the only way I can really define success is I'm making a little more money, but I'm at my office a lot more. And it was just very frustrating. And so one day, you know, I start sort of somehow getting into this uh, online stuff. And I realized that the most valuable thing that I had, the most valuable thing that I had was not, you know, this chiropractic adjustment and not my necessarily my ability to diagnose and to treat. Those things are extremely valuable and people paid me a lot of money to, you know, use those things. But the real value that I had were the systems that I had developed for this business were the things that I had learned to both help patients get well, but also to run that business. So it was these systems that I had sort of developed. And so I started really thinking about this. What is the stuff that I've got in my head that is not location bound? Meaning I can take it anywhere. Meaning is there something I'm saying to my patients through the day that they get a lot of value out of that I'm a system that I'm working them to through to help them with their headaches, their low back pain that I could turn into something that I could put online, maybe either either through a video program or through something that was a written PDF, whatever it may be. Also, was there some sort of system in my office that was working to help my office be more efficient that I could turn into something like that with either video-based, audio-based, or you know, written down on paper that I could sell to other chiropractors that would help them get a leg up? And so that's the thing that sort of hit me all of a sudden is I started thinking, I'm solving big problems. I'm helping people get out of pain. I'm helping people to have a better life. I'm marketing a chiropractic practice really darn well. But is that information in terms of finances, is that information the best spit just in my local area or should I package it up? And this was the game changer. This was the thing that changed everybody for me. I started packaging these things up into things that people could buy online and then they could, from their own home or from their phone, they could go on and watch this stuff or read this stuff and it would help them. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden I look up and when I start selling this stuff and I was selling it for super cheap at the beginning, like in the beginning I'm talking, I was selling stuff between three and $10, this information, but that's was a good thing for me. And this is why it was a good thing for me. Even though it cost a lot more to come see me than to buy something I put together online, my audience exploded because I no longer was limited by location or time. Because when I recorded this stuff on video, when I put this stuff down 
And I did that. Number one, it was done. I never had to go back in if I didn't want to and change any of this stuff. So the time that I invested, and believe me, when I first started, it was like I'd come to the office. I was there from like 7.30 to 6, and I'd go home, and I'd hang out with my family a few hours. And then late in the night, uh, remember, i got to go back up and go do this again the next day at the office. Late in the night, I'd record these courses, or I'd write these courses, and I'd put them together, these little programs. I'd put a buy button in front of them, and then I'd sell them. And then what happened was I started to look up, and no matter what happened, because it was written down as a PDF, because it's it was a video program that walked people through some sort of step-by-step procedure to get rid of your headache or to market your office, whatever it was that was done. And so it didn't cost me more time every time someone bought my program. So whether 10 people bought this program or a thousand people bought the program, it was still the same amount of time for me, minus a little customer support here and there that, that it was taking me for either one and location. Also, I started getting customers really quickly from all 50 states. In the time that I had my office, I was limited to this very small place in Missouri, uh, which great place. I loved it. It's it's still very near and dear to my heart, but I was limited by prospects and limited by potential clients and customers from my chiropractic office to within a 50 mile radius of where my office actually was. When I started doing this within quite literally a few months, I had customers from all 50 states, but not only that, I had customers literally from all over the planet that were buying these things, these how-to guides, and they were putting it together and they were getting value from it. And what's more is if you bought one guide from me, I would put you on an email list. I would get your email address. I'd put on email list. And the next time I came out with something else, I'd send you an email and let you know. And then it just starts to snowball. And so all of a sudden I go from having this chiropractic office that's making, you know, a hundred grand to 200 grand a year Um, because I was still very early on in the process of building this location. It was successful. It was growing. But I would make more money in the span of driving from my office to my house when I would open up a product for sale and send out an email. I would make more money in that small period of time than I would the entire month in the chiropractic office. That's, That's how quickly this started. It wasn't that, you know, I was really teaching anything different than what I was already doing. You could watch me and you could see what I was doing, but it was that all of a sudden my customer base was exploding. Location was no longer a factor and I no longer had to put more time in the more I sold. And so that was the key. That's what really messed me up in terms of, and and I'm talking about messed up in a good way because once that started happening, something in my brain broke and I said, you know what? I can never again limit my business by the amount of hours I can put in or limit my business by location. And when I can set that up, everything changes, which sort of takes me to where a lot of my stuff is today. And this is sort of the take home thing is, what is it that you're doing right now? Right now, what is it that you're doing right now that no longer requires you to be there in person? So let's just say that you are a carpenter because that seems very hands-on, you have to be there, right? I know people out there right now that are selling the plans to the things that they make as a carpenter. They are selling plans to that online and they make far more money selling the plans online than they do with actually making the chair, right? And you may say, well, you know, Ben, there's all these YouTube videos out there uh, that teach this stuff. Why would anybody buy it if there's all this stuff out there? Well, the really cool thing is, is they will buy it because there is value attached to it when you have to pay for something. It's more professional. They feel like there's customer service attached to it. It's not as much when you're watching a YouTube video. There's people all over the place that will do it. Now, sure, there's plenty of people that just want it for free, and that's fine. They'll always be that way. But there's tons of people that find value in paying for something and being attached and having customer support behind it. So that's the thing. Today sort of looks like this. It's what can you do that is in your head already that you're doing already that can be packaged up into a video course or a PDF. I'm a big fan of video courses. So a lot of what I'm going to be talking about in the next couple of weeks is sort of this model. And, and of course, we'll, all of these episodes will stand on their own. But this is the model that was in my head and it really just took over. And now I'm kind of at this point where I have a webinar which teaches a core concept. It solves a problem that someone has. I drive traffic to from a 
Facebook ad to this webinar. People watch it, they get a problem solved. And then at the end, I'm pitching a program that is going to help people, you know, to take exactly what they just learned, but sort of take it to the next level and make it easier for them than if they had to do it completely on their own. And when they buy into that course, it's typically a three to five to eight week course. And it's expensive. It's not cheap. It's something where I'm really going to take you by the hand. I'm really going to be there if you have any questions. And that's what my business has become. Instead of having to be in the chiropractic office every day, day in and day out, which, like I said, I loved it, other than the financial problem and the time problem. Love seeing patients, but you never got away. Otherwise, you stop making money. So today, it's very much Facebook ad to webinar, which, by the way, is pre-recorded, so it runs all the time. I, I don't have to be there for the webinar. From there, they buy into a program or they don't, but if they buy into the program, it is a course that I've pre-recorded. We go make updates every so often when things change, but it's pre-recorded. They go in, they buy that, they go through the course, they get value. And the only real time I spend with this stuff is I spend time in Facebook groups supporting the people that buy our courses, which is kind of fun. And as I said, location is no longer the problem there. No get location. These people from all over the world and they can come in anytime, ask a question. And when I get up or my staff, somebody gets up from there, we can answer that question there. So that's where most people screw up. They limit themselves to a local audience. They limit themselves to the time that they can put in, the hours that they spend. The single secret to making millions of dollars per year has to do with this. It's how do you take what's in your brain, something that you're already using to solve a problem, a big problem of someone out there. They've already got this problem. You're solving it in more of a one-on-one -on -one fashion right now. You take the one-on-one -on -one fashion and you start to put together how to, how to do one-to-many. So one-to-one -to, -one to one-to-many, that was the secret. That eliminated my time problem. That eliminated my location problem. Everything now gets sold on the internet. I'm teaching the same stuff that I would teach in my office or in a local marketing conference that I used to do. All of those same things, except for now they're online. They're sold via Facebook ads or other ads, other areas, but primarily Facebook ads. They're taken to a webinar. We teach. We let them know exactly what we're kind of doing. And we have a product at the end that makes it all easier. So I don't want this to go on uh, too overly long. But I wanted to make sure that you sort of understand the big thing. I was able to very quickly lock my brick and mortar businesses doors and change everything because I figured out that, hey, all you got to do is do the same thing that you're doing in a one on one fashion when you're sitting in the room with the patient every day and you're teaching them. Sure. A lot of my time uh, was adjustments, but in the grand scheme of things with one patient, Doing an actual adjustment and the stuff that I had to be there for was about 5 to 10% of the whole thing. The rest was teaching. And when I took that teaching, the stuff that I was going to be teaching them to help them stay out of trouble, when I took that teaching and I took it online, that's when things started to blow up because time and location were no longer a problem. All right, so that's it for this episode. I hope you love it. If you did, do me a favor, share this with a friend. If you really loved it, leave a review on iTunes or wherever you happen to listen to podcast. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, of course, uh, leave me a comment. I always love hearing what you're saying, and you can always go to serialprogressseeker.com for show notes on anything. We'll have links to everything. We'll have extras that you can get and a lot of fun stuff that will help you do exactly what we talked about today. All right, so I got great stuff coming in the next week. We're going to get more into this process, more of how you can completely remove yourself from having to physically be somewhere, and you can leverage automation and software and tools to help you get your message out, to help you turn what's already happening in your business, what you're already doing, but you can turn it into something that can run 24-7 almost without you. So I hope you loved it. I'm glad to be back uh, after a little bit of a hiatus with the show, and I'm excited to dig further into this and all kinds of fun stuff that we're going to be covering on this season of Serial Progress Seeker. All right, I'll see you soon. Don't forget, we'll be back next week. I'll talk to you then.